Ghana for Masai so at Nancy in a way a eh, live from a eh, year parliament house and Marsha be the fee a honor, sir, in same way if we a debar now a eh, year speaker of parliament, honorable Alban King Sports man the bag being a kikane home now the wa waki cane dear a eh, year as a kitwa now out of four year nine in same a eh, chair a eh, year a eh, year finance when his honorable king of we at a and then we could read the 2024 budget or oh, parliament house now. Before that, the Kanagana for me, Benasha said, Eh, my warning, said, I buy a slam. 2024, we, we don't want a uh, necessary expenditure. Now, we are seeing here we are in Ocean Kana and who ain't here. And to almost all my buy natural for all reduce the expenditure because Ghana, yeah, bring ye, and see, and no one, and I'm soon see before I may read the budgets, we are no more workshop. Eko chuchuji same ni mu eni de kaka mu na adofo insema a free speaker of parliament ho eba a year honourable alba bagbi ho eba eni sem a workshop na yongo di mostly no a yomo ya wo hotels a hotel ba kupa ba ni champo ni hotel ba kun a kesi a wo gara ni sem eno na this time round no a year parliamentarians no a plan ni sem mukapa a workshop na so shocking enough ni a say speaker of parliament. Blocks a uh, parliament from holding post budget workshop at city, uh, Rock City and uh, Water Serene Hotels. That is a uh, hotel now uh, belonging to Brian Champon. Speaker of Parliament said, On Pene, Emma Moya or Mode, or more workshop, no Elwo, and Tisiano. Big question they said, Adding the Emma Speaker of Parliament, a uh, catch up parliamentarians, they said they shouldn't hold their. Uh, Budget workshop, a eh, eh, rock city, a eh, serene hotel in tears. So the speaker of parliament, Alban Bagman, has eh, vetoed the use of hotels for the post budget workshop this year, citing the current financial challenges facing the country. And eh, according to Honorable Speaker, or say the main reason why on best of a year on workshop, no, eh, oh, that particular hotel, in fact, Ogo goes to hotel and by the jump hotel now. Yeah, that is the biggest hotel in West Africa, not in Ghana, West Africa. And see, according to Speaker of Parliament, no, because of financial crisis at Ghana, yeah, come into a said that be my uncle because a home they MPs on their poor holding here, they would have to take care of their their finances, they have to pay their hotel fees and all that. And according to Speaker of Parliament, then you see any Ghana see no he doesn't think say it is important and necessary for them to hold that workshop. So I see this decision follows Deputy uh, Minority Leader uh, Alexandra Kwame and Fido Bakin's announcement uh, that the workshop will be held at Rock City Hotel owned by the Minister of Parliament, a member of Parliament for Abetifi, uh, Brian a uh, champion. They presenting the business statement for the week. Afenio Makin stated, the usual post uh, budget workshop will be organized to allow experts to uh, elucidate further on the underpinnings of the budget, budget statement, and economic policy of the government to honorable members. I said the workshop is expected to be held from okay in the at a uh, Rock City Hotel Peru in uh, in Quetia in the eastern region. However, Speaker of Parliament expressed concern about the development, noting that the public was against imposing an additional financial burden on the state coffers. Indeed, that is the main reason why the Speaker of Parliament is not allowing them to say on the MOMO workshop. And he clarified that the House did not decide on using Rock City as the venue for the post. Uh, post budget review, adding that even though uh, Volta Serene and Rock City presented their invoices, the letter was quite expensive, hence, the reason he won't go with it. See, according to Onono, that particular hotel, as I said earlier on, is one of the biggest hotels in West Africa. It will just imagine, and according to Speaker of Parliament, no, and they can choose another hotel, but not. That particular hotel belonging to Brian a champion. To say, I believe that democracy has finally decided, and the people have prevailed on their representatives to decide that 
this year's post budget uh, workshop be held here in Parliament, and and well, not even any hotel, but in Parliament, they are saying they should uh, hold the budget uh, statement workshop on one year or Parliament House, simple and short, fair, 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 because they are not going to burden the state. Uh, they are not going to bury the state's coffers again as Ghanaians are complaining because already now, before our member could be debated in Guyama, a yet honorable speaker, a member, Mr. Honorable Speaker, Yama, a year friend is a finance minister, no one in the da. Self finance minister, a she ye, wanted to cost the so expenditure, no, it is a common workshop, a member for ye. So, wouldn't me and your parliament out there, and your namunya day, won't pay be a member for your workshop because a ya dear. Obama mukwana mama kwa kwe wo hotels because si ya Ghana for ye 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 ni abre pa e wo e ye Ghana hanu se inti we ene se ma speaker of parliament e de e di ababe tuja inti ye ntre se MP sunu e be adhere to this particular directives from a ye ye speaker of parliament honorable Kate Ford Smana Bagbin na out of four ye kwa ye si steady atre se over 65 percent of voters in Akufuado, Akufuado some reading say Ghana is heading in the wrong direction. According to study, no, you're saying over 65 percent of voters in Akufuado some reading say Ghana is heading in the wrong direction. In Zimbabwe, about 65 percent of them in Ghana is more than half of 100 percent of them about a man a castle. Ghana, we are heading towards a wrong direction. Into over sixty percent of voters in the eastern region, that is a uh, eastern region assembly key, the home region of President Nandanka Ekufu Addo, and the stronghold of the ruling New Patriotic Party, has expressed their displeasure on the directions the country is heading under the current government. And according to the Global Info Analysis, a study is conducted as part of its national tracking poll in October showed that. 65% of voters in the region said the country was heading in the wrong direction under the current government. However, 27% of the voters in the region believe that the country was heading in the right direction under President Akufan, while 8% indicated that they had no opinion. It's over 60%, like I said. Mm. Baby, I buy where the year come and yet twenty seven is it twenty seven? Yes, twenty seven percent. That's what I can say. They've not seen any wrong direction. I buy where the year come. In fact, if for example, they almost say almost the or my no almost move again. Say I go wrong direction. Say I go right direction. Almost the almost thing. See, we be best here. Country broke or country no broke. The day inside these are not for when in Zambia. It's a region for air. In fact, it's a region is one of the strongest. Hold of a MPP and a Honso and a Ghana man. If let's see how it goes in 2024. So, looking at what they are saying, no, I'm going to apa and the Ama MPP and I said, I'm going to apa and from my MPP. Out of four, I have a Ghana to inseminate a door. So, middle Asia, I'm saying, now for comments in a book, I'm making a informal for the first day. See, see, I did come.